leaving Puerto de San Miguel on the, the coastline of, of Ibiza Island, the north side. 23rd of March. 23rd of March. Thursday. Sunrises at 6:48 a.m. We're on the north coast of Mallorca, and we are approaching Soyer, Puerto de Soyer. The name is written in Catalan. It seems to be the primary language for the Balearic Islands. Walking to a chandlery. We're in Palma, Mallorca, Spain. especially out of France, you know, with 40 knot winds, but then a component of it is going to come, you know, south of the Pyrenees and out of, like, uh, Barcelona area, you know, and straight into us on Monday morning. Now, I tried, uh, G the GFS says it's going to be worse. They, they're saying, you know, 30 knots gusting to 40. The ECM says 20 knots gusting up here. We'll go. We'll go where? On the north side of Mallorca. took the scenic route back to Port de Soyer. Sunday, March 26th, 2023. And we are sailing along the coast of Mallorca, the northern coast of Mallorca. We were in Soyer, but 
We left this morning because of some north winds that are expected in the anchorage that we were at. We're on our way to the northern tip of Mallorca. Check out the snow at the top. Oh yeah. Know, yeah, you can actually. Can you zoom in? I can zoom in. But it's nice. It's not too cold. Yeah. See you later. Have a nice day. We've seen miles and miles of this rugged coastline and we've encountered our first neighbor. We were expecting strong winds around Cap Formentor, and there were strong winds. Winds that were strong enough to loosen a pin from a shackle. Tip of Mallorca on the map, where the lighthouse is, and then this is what it looks like in real life. We are now motoring in to the town of Oyensa. Also, coming in, we had winds at our nose at up to 20 gusts. Yeah, 30 knots. So it was a struggle to get here. But now the wind is calm, the motor is cooperating. Jenny is not doing so well. But you know what? Is the day still going to come out okay? I hope so. It looks like we get there before dark. That's right. That was the goal. Get there before Just dark. over a mile. Maybe less. Because tonight, wind gusts are supposed to climb to what? In the morning tonight, like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. have uh, 30 knots here. 30 knots here. Then, but at least we'll be in, in the beat here. Yeah, they're supposed to. So we already had some. Right. They're supposed to go stronger all through the night for hours. That's why we moved here from Soye for a hopefully more protected anchor. The Genoa head sail. Uh, tore along the luff at the head about five feet because a pin broke out of the uh, head shackle. That's right. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to hold on to it as tight as I can. So because the uh, Genoa head came detached from the hal Genoa halyard, it was left at the top of the mast. So I had to go up there and get it and bring it down. The water is super clear. You can see the chain. We folded the Genoa on the deck and got it ready to pack to take to the sail doctor near Palma, Mallorca. We got on a bus and someone from Texas brought a large rolling duffel bag. We were happy to have that duffel bag to transport the sail.
way should we go? Oh yeah, I remember now. We had ice cream. Goat cheese, honey, and nuts. Put this on now that it's sort of calm out. Yeah. Finally. 8 a.m. See the sun coming up from the east. Storms coming again. All right. So the sail is now back up. I'm just gonna furl it in. It's going in nicely. beautiful calm morning and finally Mark made me get up early this morning and help him put up the head sail yeah. the Genoa because it was calm <laughs> thanks a lot we got the sail on again it was so windy the last three days since we got the sail back hope he didn't put velcro on to fix it <laughs> It looks stitched pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Back in business, sailboat wise. Now it's a matter of fixing two engines. One with bad diesel, and the other one that got dunked in the ocean because the, the dinghy capsized and the motor got submerged. So I'm working on the motor now. Yeah. It's gonna turn out all right. I like your optimism. <laughs> We're going with that. Good morning. So this is going to be our fourth trip into Palma. But this time we're going to maybe get a new motor or see if this one can be fixed. Not going to be fixed. That's for sure. It's no longer a safe outboard. Hmm. It's got a leaky propane hoses inside it with fittings that are not found in Europe. Our friend Dave is going to take us. Yep. New into friend. Palma, new friend. Mm -hmm. Lives on a catamaran here yeah. for the last 10 years. He's from Wales. He was a friend that was referred to us by another friend that we met here named Eve. Somebody on the bus. Yeah. She was going to take us to a, for tea on Sunday. But well, we couldn't get ashore because the dinghy flipped over and dumped our outboard. Mm -hmm. And I worked all for the last two days trying to get it fixed, but to no avail. To no avail. Probably could with some more patience, but this time to, you know, get a new one anyway. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dave. April the 5th and it's 8.05 p.m. Sunset is supposed to be at 8.15 and it's setting on the other side of the mountains. And then... On the opposite side, yep. in the east. What are we seeing? What are we going to see? Oh, moon. Oh, moon. Pink moon. That's what they call it in the U.S. Yeah, Paschal moon. Because it's on the eve of Easter. We have 360 degrees surrounded by land, which makes it somewhat sheltered. We hope to take a bike ride over that Off mountain the to the other side. Yeah. yeah. Hello? Is it going? Yeah. It's Are going. we talking? We're talking. We're talking. I'm talking. That's the sunset on a full moon, April 5th. 5th. We have a new outboard. Oh, yeah. Should we go show them? Okay. Our new thingy outboard. We no. tested her out today. 3.5 horsepower. The well known go to Japanese Center Engineering is what it says on the side. Not sold in the US. <laughs> Shall we do movie night? That's a thumbs up. All right, because we just went to the grocery store and we got chips. <laughs> Potato chips. We're right. going to just relax and enjoy retirement. <laughs>
Good morning. Good morning, Dave. That's a lovely smoke. The church was five minutes from the port, and we just happened to have the same name. On Good Friday, April the 7th, we went to visit the town of Poenza to have lunch and... to participate in a Semana Santa procession or Holy Week reenactment. Um, our new friend Eve recommended that we not miss it, so we started by visiting the church. So then we made our way up to the Calvary Hill Chapel and the Overlook. Okay, so there's supposed to be what? 365 steps here. Of these. Yes. Yeah. Take three inches tall. Sun. Descent. Descent. Part of the Poyanza. And we are. Mm -hmm. There's Akudia. Akudia. Over there, the power plant. Yeah. We're in the top of the city of Poyenza in Calvary. Calvary Chapel on Good Friday. To, to be a part of the Stations of the Cross. of the 14th station only where Jesus was removed from the cross. The traditional costumes for this procession in Spain might need a little explanation. It might help to remember that for those participating in this procession, it's the season of Lent for them. During Lent, penitents join Jesus in the desert for 40 days of focused prayer. During Lent, penitents evaluate how they can better use their time, treasure, and talent. Part of the big Lenten practice is to exercise the willpower to try to change, but to do it without drawing attention to yourself. By keeping their identity concealed and wearing a capirote costume, penitents keep the focus on the procession, the focus on God. The attention is not on themselves or their individual identity. In the Catholic world, a capirote is then a pointed hat. Over time, a caperote evolved into a symbol of a solemn act of penance by those wearing them. They're often worn during Holy Week reenactments, especially in Spain and Italy. And by wearing a caperote to conceal their face, their act of penance remains private. So attention is not drawn to themselves as an individual, but remains focused on God and the solemn procession. Only members of a confraternity of penance are allowed to wear them during solemn processions. In this part of the procession, Jesus was taken out of the chapel and carried down the steps to the church. Made it to the church on time. Thank you. Easter Sunday. Thank you. anchored right here in Puerto Payensa, right about that spot right there. And we go in here to the dinghy dock, rented e-bikes, went up this We're gonna continue on our bikes. <laughs> 